Ariel Hawani at UFC 116 with Yoshihiro Akiyama, who faces Chris Lieben this Saturday night live on pay-per-view. And Yoshihiro, it has been almost a year since you fought in the Octagon. Do you feel a little bit relieved to be back here just a few days away from the fight? Um, it's been a year and he's very happy to be back in the ring. Um, there were reports, obviously, that you were very depressed. Uh, that was the term that was used over the fact that Vanderlei Silva had to pull out of his fight. Was that true? And can you explain some of the emotions that went through your body in terms of maybe not deciding to take this fight? You've been training for Vanderlei for over a year. Uh, I was very excited about the fight. And to be honest, uh, he really did lose some motivation when he heard that it wouldn't be against Vanderlei. Have you regained that motivation now that we're a few days away now from the fight? Yes. Chris Lieben said that he took exception with the fact that you felt as though he wasn't a worthy enough opponent. Um, can you maybe explain why you said that? Um, I mean, originally he was uh, wanting to go against someone like Vandalay. He was, was a very uh, reputable, uh, high-ranking fighter. When he found out that Chris, uh, who he doesn't consider as, as good as Vandalay, uh, was going to step in, um, you know, he thought that that would be a reason for, or should be a reason for not fighting, because he wants to fight against the best. Okay, final question. Uh, I just have to ask about this watch over here. Can you tell me about this? Because this is one of the flyest watches I've ever seen in my life. Diamonds all around it. W what is going on here? <laughs> customized in Japan. It's a uh, diamond-plated G-Shock. Dare I say it's uh, sexy? Sexy, <laughs> Yes. I only expect that much from Yoshihiro Akiyama. Thank you very much for the time and good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it.